Hey guys, this is Adam from Burton Training. I got a quick tip that I want to show you about fruit. You know, a lot of people uh, come in, they tell me, oh, hey man, you know, Adam, I just don't know why I'm not losing weight. Um, you know, I eat this, I eat that. You know, I eat a big bowl of fruit for, for, for snack, and then I eat another fruit for, for breakfast. Let me tell you the thing about fruit, okay? Fruit, even though on, on paper it sounds healthy, it, and it is healthy, don't get me wrong, it is healthy, but sugar, is still in you know still in fruit and so if you're eating fruit all day let, let, for example let's say if you have an apple all right we're talking almost 25 carbs for an apple and then let's say let's say if uh let's say if for lunch you have a, a fruit bowl with bananas watermelon grapes you know um uh uh mangoes and all these things it now that sounds really healthy but you got to think about this. That is still a lot of sugar to intake, you know, in one meal, okay? And so, what your body is going to do, if you don't use that sugar that you just ate, even if it comes from fruit, a snicker, whatever, if you don't use that 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 energy within two hours, your body's going to store that as fat. And that's the issue. I don't care if it's an apple uh, or if it's a snicker bar. Your body is going to store it if you do not use it. That's the issue, Okay? So, um, it's not the fact that the fruit is bad, it's the fact that you're not using the sugar that you're intaking. And so, when you're not using it, your body says, okay, well, if she's not going to use it, we'll just store it for another time. And so, when she does decide to use it, she'll already have those reserves. And so, that's how your body is thinking. That's how your body is trying to maneuver around these situations. Um... Another thing, too, with the whole dilemma about, you know, eating late. I know you've heard, well, you know, I shouldn't eat past 7. It depends on what you eat. Um, for example, if you have a protein shake late at night, 10 o'clock, your body is likely not going to store that as fat, okay? But, you know, or if you have, like, a piece of fish or some lean meat, you know, like maybe, uh, you know, some deer or some turkey or some chicken or something like that. If you have that late at night, your body is less likely to store that than it is popcorn, than it is a bagel, than it is some wheat thins, than it is crackers, than it is some pasta. Those things are more than likely going to get stored as fat. Why? Because your body is going to take carbs like pasta, crackers, wheat thins, and all that stuff. As, that's your body's number one source of energy. And so when your body gets that, your body's like, okay, what does she want us to do? What does she want us to do? She wants us to move. She wants us to move. And then you sitting down watching TV. Your body's gonna store that, okay? So, like I said, you know, if you look, if you come here and you look at the sign, it says train smarter, not harder. I'm not trying to make it super strict for you not to eat. I just want you to um, to understand that it's not that hard. You know, it, it you know, it's, it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of thinking. And over time, you can become your own nutritionist. That's my goal. I wanna teach people how to become their own nutritionist. And so you don't have to keep paying me all your life. I can help you, and then you can go help your family and the other people in your life that really need this information. Okay? I hope that helps. This is Adam from Burton Training. I'll see y'all soon.